Hello again, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. Um, I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! now for over 18 years, and I love sharing the things I learn with others. This week, I'd like to share with you a card. It's actually one that a good friend of mine had shared on her YouTube channel um, a couple weeks ago. Um, it's a wonderful, cute little shaker card. Very simple, looks a lot simpler than you see here. Her name is Kathy Howes, and she has a YouTube channel. She does a lot, well, she has all of her videos on her Facebook Lives, but her YouTube channel is Be Creative with Kathy. Um, and so you can see her instructions. It's very great, but she inspired me. And so this is a card that I actually had shared with my stamp club last evening. And so I want to show you how quick and simple it is to put together. My friend Kathy shows you some other options um, for the background other than the designer series paper. So let's get started. Well, for you, what you need for this project, and I'm using some different color combinations than what I showed on the previous card. You need a piece of card, or yes, of Whisper White cardstock, excuse me, two inches by five and a quarter inches. You need a square that's a scrap, and I'm, I have a piece I already punched from the Snowman Builder Punch, and I'll show you how that's important here. You need a quarter sheet of designer series paper. Here I am using the Snowflake Splendor um, designer series paper, which is on our discounted um, list of products from our August-December catalog, our mini catalog that's going away. Um, very popular paper. It's on discount. And you also need a scrap piece that's four by about three quarters of an inch. You also need a piece of Whisper White for on the inside that's the four and a quarter, or excuse me, five and a quarter by four. You also need one of our clear envelopes. And then you need a half a sheet of cardstock. Here I'm using Pacific Point because it coordinates nicely with my cardstock or with my, yes, with my uh, designer series paper. Um, five and a half by eight and a half scored at the midway point at four and a quarter. And so let's get started. The first thing I want to show, well, and I didn't tell you these parts, you need a stamp set. The one I'm using is the Snowman Season stamp set. It's out of our annual catalog. You need again that Snowman Builder Punch. And then I'm using the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And I'm using this die that is from the Home Together dies. That's also something that's on our um, discounted and going away list. So you want to nab those if you're looking for them. I've been using these a lot. And the Snowflake sequins, which are discounted all the way down to $3. So I don't know how much how longer they'll last, but wonderful little product. So I'm going to pull up my stamp and cut and emboss machine and show you how I cut my trees. Okay, so I'm going to set it here. I need for this project, set my stuff out of the way here. So it comes with my number one and my number two platform. I need one of my cutting plates, which is a number three platform. I'm going to stick my two by five and a quarter inch piece on top. And I'm going to lay my tree die, kind of angling it to make sure that all of the trees get on the cardstock. And I'm going to lay my plate on top and I'm going to roll it through. I love how stable the stamp and cut and emboss machine is when I cut things. So I'm going to pull it around, pull this here. And when I pull off, I can, this piece I can toss and then release then here and it leaves me with a snowy scene. So I'll set this out of the way. And I'm going to pull in the other items that I need. So we're going to go ahead. I need to fold my half a sheet of cardstock in half. I like to use the bone folder because it gives me a nice crisp fold. I'm 
And I'm going to go ahead and cut all my pieces first, and then I'll show you how we assemble. So I pre-punched this square piece of cardstock using my snowman punch. And then I'm going to open my stamps. These are all photopolymer stamps. And I'm going to use this to line up all of my pieces. I can kind of wiggle a little bit and push. Photopolymer allows it to stick to the um, cling. It comes with two arms. So I'm going to wiggle against on them. Stick them down. Do the same thing with the other one. Oh, keep them in the little slots. They don't want to cooperate. Never when you're on a camera does it want to cooperate. Push, and I need my hat. All of these things punch out at the same time. And that's why I find it helpful to do this. Then I'm going to take my D block and I'm going to set it down on top and it's going to grab all of those. I can lift them off. Then I don't need this. This was just my template. I set my stamps out of the way. I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink because I'm going to be using my Stampin' Blends to color. I'm going to ink up my snowman. I could make his arms a different color. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it simple, keep them all the same. So here I have now my stamped snowman. And what I use then to color, I'm going to use the dark of my smoky slate, and I'm not worried about blending. I'm just color book coloring to fill in the white space. You could take the time and do a very artistic blend, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to use the dark of my Daffodil Delight to use to do the band. You could use any, um, any color me uh, medium. Could use colored pencils, uh, lots of options. I'm using the dark of the shaded spruce, or excuse me, the light of the shaded spruce, and that's what I'm using for my holly leaves. I'm going to use the light of my real red to color the berries. And it looks like I forgot one little section of my hat right there. And then I finally need some uh, orange nose for his carrot top nose, so I'm giving the dark pumpkin pie. And then I'm going to turn my punch over and I'm going to slide this in and you're going to see when I do that all of my parts line up fairly well. It's always fun to try to see things. If you need a little extra finger, I found these little tiny post-its they come on little tabs, work really well to give you just a little extra wiggle. So I'm going to use the extra wiggle. So I'm going to line up outside of the camera a little bit from you. Oh, my snowman doesn't want to cooperate. I might have gotten him a little high. Overall, I think he'll work fine. Okay. If you had to, you could readjust. Looks like I may have to readjust. Sometimes you find that out. So what I'm going to do, because my my hands don't want to cut as nicely as I like them, so I'm going to cut him off. 
I'm going to take my snowman. He, I can line up with that hat really pretty well, and I'll show you before I punch him what I mean. So here I have my snowman, and so if I punch him, the hat, and I don't need the nose, but and the nose, get my hat out of there, come out really pretty well. And I'm just going to move my tab, my extra finger, put it on the top. I can turn it around and line it up into my punch and get a little better look than I was going to get. So you see here how I have my hands. So I've got those punched out and I can toss this and set my punch out of the, out of the way. I just need to assemble. So here's my snowman. I'm going to use the liquid purpose glue. I'm going to put a little bit on his head. That will hold his hat on. Put it however you would like. And then he needs his arms. So I'm going to put just a dot of glue here. Turn the other arm over, dot of glue that out of the way and then I can adjust his arms however I would like behind his body Do the same on this one I'm gonna maybe put this one down like so and I can set him aside and I'm gonna show you how I assembled the rest of my card so you take your your um, clear envelope. I'm going to take and put the side I'd like to see of my designer series paper on the front. And I'm going to open up my sequins and I just keep a plastic spoon and scoop up a spoonful or so of my sequins, dump them in, get out of the way. And then I'm going to seal up my envelope. So I'm going to pull that release piece off. All clear envelopes come with it. And I'm going to fold all the way over to seal up my clear envelope. My friend talked about pressing, giving a nice seal here. Then I'm going to make sure that I come the other direction. I have this extra amount of envelope. I'm going to fold it tight against my designer series paper. And again, I'm going to use that bone folder to give a nice, crisp seal. And then I need some scotch tape. So I'm just going to open up scotch tape and make sure that that flap gets completely sealed down so it won't move. It keeps all of those sequins inside. One more piece here on the end. And then to decorate the front, turned it over. See how nice it shakes all those in there? So this is where my snowy scene comes in. So I'm going to put some, again, multi-purpose liquid glue. Just across the front, a little bit down my trees. And then I'm going to lay it on the front of my card. Here's my snowy scene. I'm going to take my finished little snowman. I'm going to put some multi-purpose liquid glue. Not too much. Don't want it to ooze all over the front of my card. But just a little multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm going to set him down on my snowy scene, like so. And then to put this on the front of my card, I need tear and tape. Wonderful, wonderful replacement to um, the sticky strip that we used to carry. This is a strong enough adhesive to hold that plastic down and allow it to stay on the front of my card. So 
Sometimes it's more fun to just try to keep your fingers off of it, but turn it around here. So I need it to go all the way around. So again, I'm gonna pour off a pretty good section here. And a little long, no bother. Work it. And then I need one more piece. So I'm gonna come here. Maybe a little long again, so I don't want to overlap. I can just put it here. That works. So then I'm going to peel this off. All these pieces. Sometimes that's the fun part. She mentions, and I think it's a good thing, I can use my pickup tool. It helps when you can't grab something, especially with these release papers. Peel it off. All right, get those out of the way. Get rid of my pick, pick up tool. So I've got my folded piece of cardstock. I just want to center this on the front. Like so, a little long, but that works. Then for my inside, I kept it simple. I'm going to put this piece of cardstock, use my Stamp and seal. Sometimes you have to start it off. I take my stamp and seal. I'm going to put it along one edge. I'm going to pull out of my stamp set the Merry Christmas. You could use Let It Snow. You see, I have used this one quite a little bit. So I'm going to Ink it up, stamp a Merry Christmas in the center, just like that. Put a little adhesive on the inside. Open up my card, center it. And just like that, I have a simple and cute shaker card that's not too thick. Mail's really easy, um, and we'll just put a smile on someone's face when they get it. So thank you for stopping and watching my video. If you liked it, I hope that you will click on the bell and choose to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos. I do um, usually two a week. Um, and so thank you so much. We'll see you again later this week. Bye.